First, new details now in the voting machine mishap. The Target 12 investigators first reported last week. Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza is now calling on the new accessible express vote machines to be removed ahead of Tuesday's primary election. But voting rights groups quickly said that would be in the wrong move. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado is here now with the latest. Steph? Alorza said state elections officials should pull the new machines because of the issues, which included displaying the wrong candidates during early voting last week. But it's unclear if the old accessible machines are even still available. I just have very little faith that everything is going to be ready to go by election day. Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza says Rhode Island shouldn't use the new express vote machines on Tuesday. They're being used for the first time this year as the option for people with disabilities to vote. Mayor, you know that it's the law that they have to have an accessible ballot marking machine. It takes them, my understanding is, two weeks to deliver the express vote machines to the hundreds of polling places. So realistically, what are you suggesting, that they take them out and that they bring the auto mark back if we even still have those? Yeah, I, I would hope that they already have a backup plan for this. I hope that they're not relying solely on these express vote machines for folks with disabilities. Providence was one of the cities affected by the ballot issues caused by a private vendor's human error. On the Spanish language version of the touchscreen, some candidates from 2018, including Alorza, who isn't on the ballot this year, were displayed instead of the 2022 candidates. After the private vendor fixed the issue by uploading the correct candidates, they still misspelled mayoral candidate Gonzalo Cuervo's name, and there were issues with several headings. Was anyone responsible for checking the candidate names on the screen? to make sure we they were, were not. We are responsible for checking the tabulation. So who was responsible for checking the I name? I have no comment on that. On Wednesday, Bob Raposa from the Board of Elections denied responsibility for checking the private vendor's work, while Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea's office said it was the board's job. They're just pointing the fingers at each other. Uh, I've read the statute and it's clear that they have joint authority and responsibility over this. And uh, we just need folks to act, and I hope that they will take action and remove these voting machines um, before, before Tuesday. But the ACLU and Common Cause Rhode Island strongly disagree, saying while they are deeply concerned about the various errors, the machines are necessary to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act. Now, the Board of Elections just in the last half hour scheduled an emergency meeting for Monday morning to consider Alorza's request. And just a reminder, voters, of course, can choose to use a regular paper ballot to vote. It is completely optional to use these machines when you go to the polls on Tuesday. I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.